are again, ladies and gentlemen, with another nine beers to try out from uh, various breweries of the Czech Republic and Slovakia. So I'm going to start today with Ostrovar 12. Ostrovar, as it's after Ostrava, the third city of Czech Republic. It's a big industrial place, a uh, coal mining center. Uh, they've got a lot of aviation stuff going on there. Too. It's not yeasty like an IPA. I don't feel like I need to go buy some Monistat in the morning. It's quite nice. It's smooth, refreshing, and it makes me feel good about my self-esteem and my position in life here in Slovakia. Uh, Brunkvik, it's original beer. It's 3.9% and it hails from the Czech Republic. Now this beer is a, uh, it's a store brand beer. It's only sold in Coughlin stores. Uh, the heads actually remain intact, which I'm kind of surprised about. It is, uh, one, it is the cheapest beer we have here today. But let's not lie to ourselves. It's, it's, not, it's not as bad as American beer. So, <laughs> so the third beer we have here is Steger, 10%. Uh, Steger is a local Slovak brand. I believe they're still owned by a Slovak company and not some big multinational unlike most of these others. Uh, I've got to admit, I've been coming to Slovakia for 20 years plus now, and I've always avoided this beer because I thought it was German. And not that everything against Germany, but if I'm in Slovakia or Czech Republic, I want to drink local beer, not imports. So here we go, Steger. It says 1473 on there, natural pure gold. Yeah, I really regret not buying this beer earlier because I always thought it was German. So the fourth beer we have here is Martiner, named after the city of Martin in the north of Slovakia at the uh, base of the Tatra Mountains. Uh, I've heard kind of a story about this since this beer got bought over by Heineken, bought out by Heineken. Uh, the locals rebelled and they don't drink it up there anymore. Uh, here we go. So now it's brewed in Urbanovo in the south of Slovakia in a huge industrial Heineken complex. And this is a beer that I haven't really seen a lot. It's got a lot of head because it's, yeah. Kind of got a little bit of a rotten taste, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Just a little. So beer number five tonight is Pilsner Rukel. This is probably the most best well-known beer. It's one of the, it's, I think it's the only Czech beer that's pretty universal. To be honest, we've been in Slovakia for about three months and I usually avoid this beer because it costs more. Uh, but when I was back in America, I used to drink it quite a bit because I, I like real beer and this is, uh, this is real beer. We're going to wrap this up. We're gonna, I'm going to try to bomb through all this because i got some hamburgers to make and you know, if you mess with a fat boy's food, you, you're in trouble. We have here is a Budweiser Budvar in North America. It's known as Czechvar because of a naming dispute with Anheuser-Busch's Budweiser. If they offer this over Urkel, I usually get this by the Czech Republic. You know, if you go to Czech Republic, it's like the, the sky is orange and the birds fly backwards, but it's all about perception. I'm going to introduce you to Bisharovka. You may have seen this or heard about this. Uh, most kids, when they take their first trip to Czech Republic or Slovakia and they end up at the bar, they end up uh, coming across this stuff. But this stuff's rather an acquired taste. And you can smell all the herbs and essences. And I've drank this for years. It doesn't bother me anymore. Uh, like, like Kevin in Home Alone said, I'm not afraid anymore. I'm not afraid anymore. And uh, behind producer there is three bottles of Jim Beam, a bottle of Jameson, and a bottle of Johnny Walker. This is what I love. It's American Week at both Little and Coughlin at the moment. I don't know. But there again, I'm just a lonely American in this foreign land, and uh, I don't think I'm going to meet the approval of a lot of babushkas, but I'm already married, so thank you. I don't know, I, I love all these beers, they mean so much to me. You could be here drinking these things on a low income. You don't need to be rich to drink good. It, I'm not a rich guy. 
So the next beer we have here is a Brandnick uh, Svelte 4.1%. It's uh, produced by Star Wars Ramen, who was in the previous video. Uh, I have never really seen this beer in a can. I think it cost me about 60 cents. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and give it a try, see how it goes. It's definitely got a little bit more of an acid taste than some of the other beers. Okay, the next beer we have here, kids, is Gambrinus 1869. Life, Corona, nothing could fuck with, nothing can mess with this guy. I didn't say the F word. So kids, this is totally a family-friendly channel. Like, we're not trying to corrupt your children. Like, and plus, why would children be watching things about beer? Keep drinking beer. So the Gambrinus Original 10. Uh, kind of burns my tongue. Svijani, 4%. This is one of the most beloved local independent beers in all of the Czech Republic. Awful. I'm sorry. Maybe we just like, have cheap taste. I, I'm white trash. I grew up in trailer parks, right? I grew up in trailer parks in Louisiana. Uh, number one is definitely going to be Ostravar, 12%. It's the beer of the city of Ostrava. Uh, number two for me was going to be a big surprise, and it's Steger. A nice Slovak guy that I never, ever, ever considered drinking before because I always thought it was German until my friend Vlado told me that that's not German, that's Slovak. And I hate to say it, but number three is Pilsner Raquel, the expensive guy that you all know and love. Love it. Great. <laughs> you need to compose yourself, producer. You can't really. <laughs> no, you're gonna ruin it. Just stop filming and get it off your system. <laughs>